Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IX. I'm Sir Coopernut, and in the last episode, we got ourselves our first airship. And since uh, the last episode, I have gone to all four of the Q's marshes. That's the one there, there ish. Uh, the one we never visited before because I didn't have Queen with me when we went to Erlevert. And the one down up there. So if it's still four, I've now got 67 frogs. I mean, I must catch, I think it's 99 or it's 99 or 100 is one of them before the end of the game. And in this episode, we're going to be beginning some many, 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 many side quests. Well, optional areas, really, not really side quests. But first things first, we want to deliver a coupon nut to these douchebags. At the um, Gizmond Squirrel. No longer do we have to run through Gizmond Squirrel, we can just come to this little place here and head straight in. Well, I've never been up here. That's rubbish. I've definitely been up there before. Oh, no, I did, but I died, didn't I? Yeah. Okay, well, another hidden entrance to Gizmo Looks Grotto, so we can deliver Koopa Nuts a lot easier now. And we get a free 10. You know, these items are kind of pointless now at this point in the game, because you stop giving us junk. Who is that to? Kamal? Who is Kamal? Hmm. Can't really remember who Kamal is. Hmm. <laughs> Anyway, that's for the Mockinette side quest, we'll get to that in a bit. Now that we've delivered that coupon out, we can head to a brand new optional area that we've never been to before. Actually, no. We're going to do something even more optional. Uh, let's head straight over to Treno first. That's something we can... Not really Treno. I'm going to go to Treno in a bit. We've got a lot we need to do in Treno, you know, monsters. Delivering to Lazios. I want to go up to Quan's dwelling. And we want to just pop him down here. And head on in. Make sure you have Vivi and Queen are in the party. You need both of them in the party for this to work. No, you won't get the cutscene. And the reward. Run through. I really like this place. I know I said that when we first came here, but I really like this area. It's cool. It really reminds me of the BFG, and I probably said that as well. Something smell. What's wrong, Queen? You just came out of nowhere. You know smell? Something smell wonderful. No, nope, my nose doesn't work like yours does. Aya! What happened? It's amazing today. It's miracle. It's a feast. What? There's nothing there. What the fuck? <laughs> this is like wine pouring out of a massive keg into the um, into a massive glass. I always like looking at this shot because there's so many little things you'll notice and it, it looks really cool. It is unbelievable. I don't know where to start. What I eat first? Ho ho ho! Nom, 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 nom. It's so good. Ho ho ho! <laughs> It's delicious! What the fuck? Delicious! Hey, Queena, I don't eat anymore. Oh, man. Oh, what happened? Feast is gone. What are you talking about, Queena? I think you were hallucinating. It is not true. I saw her bone eyes. But you were just running around. Hmm, I smell something this way. Hey, Queena! Jeez. Queena, you stop! What the? I finally here. Who oh, who you? You the one who show me illusion? I Quan. Is illusion only if you see illusion? You saw because you travel around the world. What do you mean? It's cheap trick. Master, what do you talk about? He my former master. He ran away and escaped training. I know run from training. I it's you who make mistake. What? To eat everything not true way of command. Your student already start to realize. Queena, what you saw, you used imagination. Is your imagination you used to eat? I not know, but it tastes like real food. It's all good. You travel around the world and gain imagination. People who know have imagination no taste until they actually eat. Hmm. <laughs> use imagination is possible to taste all food in the world. It no matter if it's story, if it's story somebody else tells it's possible to eat with your imagination. How did Master learn to do this? It's because. Grandpa! Ah, Vivi, you know not grown much at all. It's thanks to Vivi I learned about imagination. I teach Vivi, who not know anything about the world outside. My imagination grow very big as I teach him. Grandpa, 
to eat same as to live, Vivi, you understand. To see not only uh, to see not only thing to think and talk just as important. Life when you and when you die life end when you die, but imagination share of others, live forever. My spirit almost gone, is where my imagination end. No, are you gonna go away again, grandpa? No need to be sad, Vivi, as long as you imagine I'd be by your side. Queen up and quail, good luck. My master Hey, who are you guys talking to? What? Queena, I start over from the beginning. Master, who are you talking to? You know Caesar then? See what? I just thought you guys were talking into space. I see you still have a long way to go, Zidane. Never mind, Zidane, I'll tell you about it some other time. Let's get going, there are still, uh, still so many things to understand. Yeah. Okay, and if you examine the clock afterwards, you get another pair of running shoes for completing that little mini side quest thing. What's this? Hmm, the sun at the bottom of the ledge. You know, it looks like foam. Hmm, let's use a dead pepper. Now, these are the cracks and bubbles that I said I'm going to be doing now, and I'm just going to start with this one since we're here. Save's coming back. Yep, we just get off our chocobo, dive straight off the edge. Come on. Did it got stuck? It's higher than I thought. Feeding dead pepper. <laughs> See them bubbles? That's one of the bubble marks. There are loads all over the world. We get 9 ore, 15 topaz, 1 tiger racket, 1 red rose card. Nice. Oh, I get it now. Yep, that's the first bubble done. I think there's like 4 bubbles and quite a few cracks, but yeah, that's everything. Anyway, I'm going to meet you guys back outside. Okay, we're back, and one thing I will say, if you go back to the Alexandrian steeple and Alexandrian with either Vivi or Ico, you can play the jump rope minigame now. So yeah, that's where you can do it. They'll be in the steeple. Now that we've done all that, we can head over to our newest town area that we've never been before. It's probably, actually, I think it's the last area on the entire map that we haven't been to. Last town. Well, apart from a couple of miscellaneous ones, but here it is. This place is very weird. I'm not really sure what the point of it is. It's just kind of one of them secret things, I guess. But it's a really cool place and I like it. In we go. Dalgaro. Very cool place. And over here you can get a Capricorn, my latest Delazio to our collection. Capricorn. Impatient Capricorn ran up the hill towards the sun and fell asleep from exhaustion. Okay, um, right, what should we do? Hmm, let's go west first. This is like a big library that's built in. A, like underwater mountain lake thing. So, Dave, my goodness, how wonderful to see you again. Hey, what are you doing here? After Claire was destroyed, I realized how isolated we have all been, so I decided to broaden my horizons and came here. It's wonderful here. I am constantly learning something new from these books. Sometimes I hope to contribute to the restoration of Clara. Dalgaro was built by some strange scientists. To get around this place, you have to use lifts which are powered by water pressure. Now, we've got to fix this lift here. We've got to pull the right lever, I believe. No, the left lever. Um, you, you have to fix this lift to be able to use the shop up the top. So to fix the lift, you just do that. And then go to this hole. What is this hole? That's what she said. <laughs> just stuff this hole with this pole. Let's see if this will fit. Perfect, that's what she said. Okay, so now we can use the right level. And we can go straight up. We can use these as lifts now. Which is awesome. And now that we've fixed the lift, this guy will sell us stuff. Alright, the lift works now. Thanks a lot, man. And this is one of the best weapon shops in the game. He sells pretty much everything. Um, right, we need a room blade. An obelisk. Um... Two tiger fangs. Make sure you get two tiger fangs. You need one to simp later. For racket, hammering, octagon rod. Don't need. 
Um, don't really need any of that stuff. Venetia shield. Do we need any of them? Mm, no. Defense gloves. We could do with one of them. Name is Tiara. I don't need. Twist their band. Gold hairpin. Coronet. I think we need like five coronets. But we are seriously running out of cash again. Diamond helm. Alright, we're going to need some cash again. And I actually have nothing to get cash with. So. <laughs> Let's just sell. Uh, 12 of them. That's up two more. And sell six of them. God, I need money. It's not even going to cut into what we need to buy. Let's buy one diamond armor. I'm just going to have to go low. I'm just going to have to care for what I'm spending stuff on. Okay, that'll have to do for now. Ah, oh, Jesus. Okay, what we got going on here? I can't find the eyes on my book. You can use this as an inn, which we don't want to do. This old man here, a good but lost forever, it will always be there in your memories. I've asked him to bury my favourite book. He's very important for later. What we want to do is just push this straight down, push the rest of this button. It's going to unlock something down the bottom, which is really important if you want to use the scale on it to uh, full potential. Oh, that's the engineer guy from Limlum. I came here to research a new source of power. Some of the systems here are rather complicated. The source of all this water is a mystery as well. Maybe it really is the work of the Dragon God. Now, here's a list of books. And that, now we can tell this guy over here what the book's called, and then he'll move out of the way. Oh, that lady over there is just an item shop, by the way. She doesn't sell anything important. But once that guy's moved out of the way, we can pop down here, go down the ladder. And you can get some few hidden things. Which is awesome. Now this, there's this important this, uh, guy here. Uh, I love books, especially the old ones. I appreciate everything about them, the authors, the publishers, blah blah blah. I'm doing research on a legendary man. He had a power to restart people's lives. Hey, that's the name way card. Let me see it. I won't take it or anything. Oh yes, I'm stoked with inspiration. I'm inspired to create. I've just mastered the name way technique. Now let me name one of your characters. So here you can change the name of any one of your characters as long as you have that name way card that we got from Kuja's Palace. Or the one that you could have got if you didn't go with Vivi and got the name way card from the second round of the card tournament. So we've got an elixir there. So yeah, it's kind of handy. It's If you say you don't like the name Dagger, which I'm not sure why anyone would ever name it Dagger for whatever reason, it, notice the it there, you can change it back to a much better name like Garnet or anything really. <laughs> okay, we're done with that bit now, so we can head this way. The fear of a second world and underworld has existed since ancient times, but the scientist community still regards it as folklore. That's a reference to Final Fantasy IV there. Please be Kamal. Oh, you're Noggy. I need to find this Kamal person. <laughs> I really do. Um, here we have a Simpson shop, and this guy is very important. He's going to simp all sorts of great things like white robes and um, black robes, which are very good pieces of equipment. Let's see what else he can make. He makes all the good shit. All the good stuff is made from this guy. He can also make garnets here, which is really important if you want to power up your uh, Bahamut summon. He can make all of them. And he sells thief gloves. Hmm. I'm not sure if he's supposed to buy them, because I think you can get them from an auction house for like half the price. I'm not too sure about that one though. Oh, a glutton's robe. Gotta get that garden's rope. Can we do a silk rope trick? Oh no, it's not that cotton rope trick. Um, we can't do that yet, I don't think. Ugh, I need to make the Sargon Tass. This is what I mean, I've just got no money whatsoever, and I haven't got really any time to grind for it. Hmm. I've got an idea. I will... Just first, let's go talk to this guy. This guy, you can win the airship, all the airship cards off if you play cards with Mr. Four Arm Man, and he also is another treasure hunter rank guy. You came here to find some treasure? I can tell from your eyes. I'm a treasure hunter too. I'm either there. Ten high. So I see your treasure hunt where I says, No way! You're rank S! Pardon me for my rudeness. What is with that guy? <laughs> yeah, I'm rank S, so yeah, we get a treasure hunter metal. You can never get airship cards from that guy again because he's just going to leave now, so yeah. But what you can do now that we activate that little switch up there is come here and you can. 
put ore in. How much ore have we got? 81. So let's, I'm just going to put 60 in. They transformed 15 aquamarines. So this is how you power up the Vivian since you can't synthesize them. Hey, I'm sorry for talking big early. To be honest, I'm not famous or anything. I'm just a loser rank D treasure hunter. But someday I'm going to become a rank S treasure hunter like yourself. I just want to become stronger, you know, so no one will push me around and call me forearms anymore. Rank S medal. Take care. Oh yeah, I haven't told you my name yet. My name is Gilgamesh. Ha ha, Final Fantasy V. I'm going to be famous one day, so don't you forget it. Take care. Okay, so we got a new key item there. Uh, a rank S medal. A rare medal received in Delgaro. Awesome. Right, now I'm going to meet you guys in Treno. In fact, I've changed my mind. I'm just going to grind out here for a bit, but let me just equip all this shit first that we've got. The reason I'm going to grind is because if I go to Treno, I'm going to need more money anyway for an auction house. This is just a problem. I need money. I don't have any. I'm poor. Okay, nothing I can give you. You're learning that. You're going to have a new rope soon once I get some money. Then that, and should have a new racket for you. Nope, just a tiger racket. Eh, I'll give it to you anyway. Um, oh, return magic with coronet. That's the one. Can you learn? No. Return magic is like magic counter. If they cast magic on you, just send it straight back at them, which is really good. Let's give uh, Queena the Glutton's Robe. I'll teach him also region. And it's probably the best theme for Queena for pretty much the entire game. It just gives you lots of good stats. Look at the defense boost, it's absolutely massive. And no new forks. Okay, guys, I'm just going to grind for a bit and get some gills, so I'll be back in a little while. Okay, note to self, this place contains grand dragons. Be careful grinding here. Make sure you've got something that at least absorbs, well, absorbs, um, thunder elemental magic. Queen is probably the best person to use here. She's still learning auto float, though. We need to have something that halves thunder damage. Uh, I'll just equip them later. I'm going to give Queen uh, what she needs, which is the coral ring. Make sure Queen has got a coral ring on. She can kill these uh, dragons in one hit with level 5 death, so apart from that you don't really have anything to worry about. Okay, so I'll just carry on and meet you back in a bit. Okay, we're back. I got loads of money now. I was grinding the grand dragons outside the Moogle, or the Moogle nest that gives them a look with level 5 death. So yeah, I've got tons of money now, so I should be able to buy everything. Should probably won't. <laughs> I'm gonna have to grind again after this episode's done, so that I will have enough to do all the stuff I want to do in Treno. Now I want to buy a few more Zorlin shapes. I think you need a lot of Zorlin shapes for this game. You really do. <laughs> um, there was something else I needed to buy in here, wasn't there? Uh, I need to make sure I've got another diamond armor. You need to make sure cause, uh, lots of these items become unavailable as soon as we get on the next um, disc. Not disc. You know what? Yeah, disc, I think. But yeah, you, you just run out pretty quickly. I'm getting up on that. Okay, that should be enough. I shouldn't need to buy anything else from here. Alright, let's go. Let's go to the Simpsons shop quickly. Well, then first, I'm going to quickly rest up here. Yeah, special rest. Seriously, so guilds so hard to get in this game. Especially when you buy over buy everything that I do. Uh, oh well. Right, simps this, simps this. Right, I want one Sargantar's thingy majiggy. I want one white robe. Ooh, and that jade armor is bad. And one black robe. I shouldn't need to make anything else. Anything else? No. Okay, so I just need a jade armor now, but I'm out of money. Right on. <laughs> Can't believe I'm out of money again. Oh my god. Um, right, let's give you your new weapon, which is additional effect petrifier, which is going to become very useful very quickly. Um, this is actually, I think, nearly. Well, actually, no, never mind. Uh, 
Where is it? White robe. Kind of need to get. Oh. I need to give that to Ico. I'm thinking of something else. Yeah, but that needs to be given to Ico. And this robe here, which we've got the black robe, will teach lots of amazing shit for VB. MP plus 20% flare, best black magic in the game, and reflect times 2. Now, reflect times 2 is very useful because it doubles the damage of reflect. So it means you can just have auto reflect on yourself and reflect shit back, which I'm going to do now. So let me just sort my abilities out. Okay, that should be it. So auto reflect, reflect times two. Doesn't see up. Just gonna quickly give Garnet a reflect null. Then she's ready. Okay, um, I'm just gonna see if they've got Jade Armor in that shop over there. I'll sell some shit to buy one bag. So I'm, I always get worried when I run out of shit. Uh, where did we come up from? It's here, wasn't it? Please sell jade armor, mister. Yes, you do, but I need some money. No worries, I'll just sell some of these ethers I got. Okay. Jade armor, one of them. Okay, guys, I think that's going to do for this episode. In the next episode, we'll be heading over to Treno after I've grinded myself for being another 60,000. I'm probably going to swap my party around since everyone's master and shit. I'm probably going to get eye covering instead of garnet. But yeah, I'll see you guys then on the next episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy IX.